Michael to be here today. Welcome back. This is Kingdom Corn. Sometimes, what is going on, lovely, great people? Today is going to be a Star Wars Intergalactic, really awesome Empire Strikes Back type of day. Yeah, I'm the Empire, and Kingdom Corn is striking back. Uh, I guess I could use that. What do y'all think? I am excited, guys. I've got apparently this Mace Windu right here live in person. Now, as you guys may have seen already from my intro on the packaging, it has pretty neat packaging. They got that Mace Windu symbol. It looks nice and metallic-like. It is very unique. There isn't gonna be a Mace Windu symbol on a legacy package on like a Vader saber. So each package is pretty cool and unique. They had those Jedi hieroglyphs and each hieroglyph, you can look through it and find a different symbol. Or play a little game, it's like a little match game or a game where you can just simply identify whatever Star Wars piece that you can, find out who gets the best one. Hey, I'm just trying to make the most of what we got and what we got is pretty dang nice. So there you go. <laughs> now on the accessory end of this thing, it comes with one of these stands. Of course, you're going to mount your lightsaber on the stand when not in use. As for me, I definitely prefer these vertical base stands. Oh, I actually prefer a lot better those vertical base stands more so than those ones that have been sitting like this horizontal. Like you kind of have to find some type of space for that. As for me, as you look behind me, apparently my space is uh, non-existent. So I definitely much rather prefer this type of stand. On the other hand, I hate these stands as plastic. Even though this part may be nice and sturdy, it doesn't mean that it's too much of great quality. These things pop off and they also get lost when you're somebody like me that is kind of clumsy, goofy. I can lose these things in a jiffy. But enough about this little stand. We've got some other cool accessories. Bam, this right here, as you can see, a belt clip. Uh, apparently you can take this lightsaber and use this in some type of way and then attach this to your belt clip so you can walk around looking like a real Jedi or Mace Windu at that. How cool is that? Now, <laughs> you guys stay with me. I'm going to try to figure out how exactly to use it. Don't leave, guys. I'm, I'm going to get it, okay? Um, Kyber crystal connected to the... Oh, snap. That was not hard at all. It snaps there right into place. It is dummy proof, as you guys can see. <laughs> now, you guys know I totally love me some good functionality. The ability to walk with this thing, to talk with this thing on the street, and for it to work really nice and well, that is a pretty awesome thing. It makes for some really great cosplaying, some really great walking around the house, looking crazy being a grown man playing with toys oh yeah it is excellent with stuff like that and you guys know on the main one that okay that might be a little bit too much information <laughs> and this version from the shop disney store they have got this blade that also come with it as for the size of the blade i don't know i'm not sure if they really tell you anywhere what size that this comes with it looks like one of the more shorter type of blades this is the bad boy right here. Y'all try to run up on me with this thing in my hand. You're gonna recognize real quick who runs this empire. Uh-oh, uh, did I just forget which is which? Now that these both are in my hands, I guess I can compare them side by side. I'm not sure if they are like the same, but I will tell you that this has apparently seen lots of use. It's cracked, it's broken. 
this one being brand new that might be the only difference so i don't want to say too much although this looks a lot shinier a lot glossier and clean i don't know if you guys can see the comparison but once again that could just be due to me having used this a whole lot and dropped it on the floor apparently where were we that's right that the height okay the length of this thing they appear to be the exact same length so whatever length was the legacy Darth vader lightsaber they gave you the exact same length for the mace windu now that clip earlier that had fell to the ground it was kind of off screen but i know you heard it that was this when this comes right out the pack this little piece is inside of here so do not freak out like i did when i opened my last legacy saber you will not be able to get your blade into this hilt with this piece on so the first thing you do when you're ready to get moving pull that outside of there throw it away to the side now you can see on the inside of here there is a attachment point and before we get into that the back of this is the battery cap it looks very, very shiny, very chrome domey. You simply unscrew this whole thing and the battery cap is attached to this. Without this, you're not gonna be able to get this secure and turn on. In order to get this going, you're gonna need three AAA batteries. I know that some actually take double A, so I don't know if that actually reflects the power level of these sabers and just like that it screws back on you can get it nice snug tight and it fits right on just like it needs to fit all right now let's get to the main piece shall we you guys may wonder why my background keeps changing well i'm in this room now because i'm gonna wait until these lights eventually go out and then i'm gonna actually light up this saber if i get finish talking in a decent amount of time. I hope I can make it by the time that happens. Let's get right into this masterpiece. Oh yeah, woo. I am not sure guys if I need to even speak on describing how nice this looks. I am pretty sure if you got eyes and you guys know Jedi, then you know just how amazing of a lightsaber this thing really is mace windu truly may be a bmf especially with the gold on here i'll tell you that chrome and that gold together they never are a bad fit and then this part is like kind of a rubbery type of a grip on here it is so smooth i don't know how jedis really hold their weapons but to put your hand on this rubber grip and the chrome on this side that feels so neat y'all once again i don't know if that's how you hold it feels a little awkward i think the main way to hold this is from this part because you guys can see these are rubber pieces and if you hold it right there you, you are definitely sure to never drop this out of your hand now on my vader legacy lightsaber this was kind of so wide around it was really uncomfortable because it was like how can you hold something that's that big i feel like on this mace windu saber it is not that wide around and i can actually hold it and feel like i will actually do some real damage out here trying to wield this saber that is a very awesome thing on the back you can see some more of that oh dang i done missed the boat <laughs> the name of the galactic senate of the republic Guys, this lightsaber has an incredible purple glow. This thing lights up this entire room. Without this saber, this thing would be in total 100% darkness in here. As you can see the brightness level, it is pretty nice, pretty decent. Now, that humming sound you guys can hear. 
Yeah, can y'all hear that humming sound? That's how that makes Windows Saber be rocking. That class effect, it works pretty good. On some sabers, it's not really that sensitive. This one works just great. And you guys can see the sensitivity with this. It is pretty cool. There are worse. It doesn't seem to go off every time you swing it. But it does kind of make a cool sound regardless. Yeah, did y'all check out that Jedi teleport? I might even be a full hologram. Y'all know about that one. I'm sorry guys that I got cut off because the light hat went off. You know I had to get it in. When battle calls, what can you do? You gotta pull out your full force power and just get Now Sweet. onto some more of these details. As you can see on the sticker on this part right here, this is the actual light up ignition. You simply are going to push that up and you are rocking push it back down and then it'll turn back yeah. off now i have heard in the past that other versions of this saber like older versions that this button is a little loose and finicky as you guys can see right here i am not having no loose issues with this it is a button so it's supposed to move a little bit and that's pretty cool when i was swinging this bad boy around wildly I didn't have any issues with this turning it back off, accidentally hitting my thumb on here and causing my power to go out. Everything actually swung, it was sturdy, and that is a good thing. I really hate it, like on this Vader Saber, every time I'm trying to swing this around, this part will really catch on to your hand. It hurts pretty badly if you don't know what you're doing. And if you also just swing it any type of way, then this thing absolutely will turn off on you and then that could be a real problem right there in the heat of battle because you know these are real right <laughs> yeah guys so i guess that about wrap up this review i don't want to make this video too too long let me get this tape on off so this can look really official cool as you guys may see i'm happy of course i geek out a lot on these type of videos but this thing right here is nothing short of amazing so there you have it wow look at this part up here chrome y'all this is the mace windu shop disney legacy lightsaber you guys can go on shop disney right now no i'm not sponsoring or sponsored by it <laughs> but that's where i got this from you can check it and see if they still have some um i would say try to get it when you can because if i'm not mistaken they might have actually said that this was in a discontinued pile so you guys, uh, if you want this in your hands, might want to pick that up as soon as possible. So always remember guys, anything is possible if you believe. May the force be with you all. <laughs> Peace.